feel comfortable or whatever you're comfortable working with. Uh, if you're a, a newer pilot, newer to foam wings, I would tend to overdo it. Um, another thing you may want to consider, and this is entirely up to you, I've done it like this and have not had a problem. If you're worried about it carrying the load, because if you, if you have really hard landings, you're going to put this area under stress. If you want, also, when you're cutting this block out, this, this notch here, you can carry this notch on back to where your spar will be if you want to. Now, you're not going to cut this space out here. You're still going to make your box. But what you do is, as you cut it back there, you're going to trace one side and just make that rib longer. It'll make it carry that load over a much larger area. Okay? So you can do that and just cut out, a, you can cut straight back and then cut an eighth inch gap on the other side. So that rib will slide in there and you can trace it and just make that rib bigger. All right, that's up to you if you want to go that route and uh, make what I consider make it stronger. Some people say do, some don't. Um, like I said, I haven't had a problem with doing this. Another thing that I do do, just to stiffen this area up, like I said, I'm, she I'm way over sheeting. I'm sheeting this with eighth inch because um, on the built-up wing, I sheeted it with eighth inch because I just like to have plenty of sand. So I'm going to have plenty of strength in that area. But what I do, and I'll show you as I put my glue on, is I put, from this area right here, I get a piece of four ounce cloth. I put my glue down, I lay my cloth on and squeegee it in. And then as I sandwich it in here, you have that piece of cloth that's sandwiched between the foam and, uh, and, he, and the, the wood, the sheeting itself. And then I do it the other side, so you're making a pretty rigid area there anyway. Um, I also, on the bottom, right a lot, right behind here on the spar, I cut about a two inch wide piece of four ounce cloth and I go the full length of the wing, just, just two inches wide and it's also sandwiched between the sheeting. I'll show you that when I get, uh, get ready to put the glue on. So I'm going to get everything prepared. I'll show you how I put the glue on and, and we'll put this first wing, the first half of the wing in to be held in place until it dries. All right, I'll get that all set up and we'll go from there. Okay, here we have the wing core. We're getting ready to um, apply the glue to one side. All right, I already have my glass cloth ready. I got just enough to cover the area to add strength there. And then I have one big long piece. I actually went about an inch wide. And I'm just going to lay it down the length right on the, uh, where the bar location would be. That'll give me the strength underneath without adding any weight or hardly any weight. All right, this glue is really easy to work with. What I do is I take the glue, I, got, I have a, a squeegee, I got the glue, and what I do is I just start in the middle and you just pour it on. And then we'll start squeegeeing out. And you're gonna squeegee it out where it's thin. I mean, you get it, you're pulling it all the way down to where it's, um, where it's, I mean, about as thin as you can pull it. This glue um, will swell as it cures, and we're doing both sides. We're doing this and the and the uh, wood also, so they'll adhere through to each other. And I, I do this just so I make sure I get really good adhesion. I've got an eight ounce bottle here, and it's gonna turn out that I'm gonna use uh, eight ounces on three sides. I, I've already done the other wing core. And um, so I'm gonna have to, it's, you really need, if you're gonna do this, you need to buy a 16 ounce bottle. The only problem about buying this glue is, once you open it, you've got to use it. I, I, I've had some that's, um, it, oxygen, oxygen or air is its enemy, enemy. And it will start curing up on you um, pretty fast. I mean, I've, I've lost a bottle in just a couple weeks, and I've tried putting um, sealing the bottle with uh, cellophane or, or, or plastic wrap, everything, trying to get keep the air out of it. And I haven't found an easy way to um, 
not let not allow it to cure. Now the core is going to take a little bit more glue than the wood because the wood is a lot less porous than this um, than the foam, and we need to make sure that you get it all the way to the edge. And I always leave it ju just a tad heavier on the edge because you want to make sure you get a really good bond there. I got I got glue on the whole core. All right, now what I'm gonna do is come in here and I'm gonna lay my glass cloth where I want it. And you see, I go all the way back, and whatever sticks out, you'll be able to sand off. Anyway, and then I take it, I pull it in place, pull it down. And just to make sure I get a good, a good, good cure through the through the cloth itself, I'll just rub a little bit of glue down into that cloth because you want the glue to penetrate. You want the glue to penetrate all the way through the cloth and into the wood, and and from the cloth all the way into the uh, uh, foam also. All right, now I've got glue all rubbed down into there. Now, our last piece we got to add real quick. This is more or less adding us like a, a fiberglass cloth spar. We're just going to rub that down. And I will run one bead of glue down it and rub that in. All right, now we've got that done. We need to lay this aside a second because we need, you don't have to work super fast, but you, you do need, because the glue does cure. I mean, the glue does cure. Now we need to lay this out. What you need to do is make sure before we even put any glue on, you spray it off with the air hose. Um, I just generally, um, God, I hope we got enough glue to do this whole thing. But um, what, you general, what I generally do is uh, I do the whole sheet, even the stuff that sticks out. That way you know you got your... Now, like I said, this stuff will expand, and it'll expand out around the edges when you turn up. Oh yeah, I got enough. Actually, I may have put too much on here. 